Good morning. It's uh, Tuesday, October 10th, and we are out for another short cruise. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, if all goes according to plan, Tuesday through Friday. So, we left the uh, dock quite a while ago, uh, about 10. It's, it's uh, about 11.30 now. And, uh, well, I had things that distracted me for... for <laughs> For a while, so I didn't uh, I didn't get this started any sooner. But we're now uh, out in Fisher's Island Sound uh, <clears throat> and headed uh, east, uh, and we are uh, wing on wing the, using the, the whisker pole. The <clears throat> the wind is coming out of the northwest at uh, eh, somewhere between five and ten, I'd say. And our, our speed through the water is about a knot and a half. I'm, I'm sorry, our speed over ground is about a knot and a half. And we're, we're battling, uh, according to the charts, about uh, two knots of current in the wrong direction. Uh, so, <clears throat> uh, so, but hopefully, uh, eventually, that will ease up and we'll start to make um, more progress. Uh, destination today, we're not quite sure, and it's uh, to some extent gonna we're gonna have to evaluate later. Uh, but I'm hoping we can get to someplace new, uh, either uh, Port Judith, uh, Rhode Island, or Block Island, which is also part of Rhode Island. Um, <clears throat> but uh, I'll let you know how that goes as we as we go along, and uh, I'm sure uh, I'll find an excuse to show you the chart at some point. Well, it's a little after one now, and we're still in Fisher's Island Sound. <clears throat> uh, and it became clear uh, <laughs> that we, we were not going to be able to make uh, <clears throat> either Block Island or Point Judith uh, today. Um, it being October, uh, sunset is, I think it's quarter after six. Um, <clears throat> so we'll get started pretty early. And uh, certainly didn't want to arrive after dark uh, in either of those ports, never having been in them before. So, uh, uh, well, we're headed back to Navitry. It's uh, kind of the fallback uh, destination uh, going east. Um, so the weather today, uh, in case you're wondering, is wonderful. Uh, even for October 10th, it's uh, going to be mid-70s today, but it will be cooler uh, for the rest of the uh, voyage, um, but I think we'll still be able to uh, be comfortable nonetheless. It's about 4.30 now and we have uh, anchored, uh, but we are not at <clears throat> Napa Tree Beach. Uh, we're in uh, the Pawcatuck River, which is another part of uh, Little Narragansett Bay. Uh, <clears throat> The, uh, the reason for this is, at the time that I was coming in, uh, there, there was a pretty strong breeze out of the west, um, <clears throat> and I had no reason to suspect it wouldn't continue, and the um, Napa Tree Beach area would have offer absolutely no protection from a, a west wind at all. Um, <clears throat> So, uh, so I looked for alternatives, and uh, well, let me let me show you the chart. So, as I mentioned, as I was coming in uh, to Little Narragansett Bay, uh, there was uh, between 15 and 20 knots, I would say, of wind out of the west, and so I wanted protection from that, and Napa Tree Beach would would give uh, <clears throat> no protection from the west. And, I looked up in here, that uh, an area I'd noticed before, but there, it's the, the water's kind of thin up there, <clears throat> which uh, which would have been all right. But it would, it's even thinner than what the chart says. So where it was saying seven feet, I was finding 
like five feet. So that didn't pan out. Excuse me. I'm being um, bugged by, by flies. Uh, so I went all the way down the channel and then turned up the Pawkatuck River here. Uh, and I'm a little ways up and anchored in this area. <clears throat> Um, now, I'd never been up in here before, and uh, I kind of expected that, like almost every um, area of uh, protected water <laughs> uh, in this area, uh, it would be full of um, mooring balls. But in fact, there's um, hardly any mooring balls at all, so it's uh, wide open. So looking east from our anchorage. Uh, if you can see there, there's uh, a pretty populated shoreline. You know, houses over there, and then there's a marina uh, in there. And if we swing further north, you can see a whole lot more uh, boats up there. And a few more houses. But we're over here on the uh, West Bank, and uh, it's pretty much undeveloped. There's a house out near the point to the left, which I can't show you because it's right in the sun. Uh, and there's there's a dock over there, but I can't see any dwellings here at all. It's uh, undeveloped shoreline. Uh, there was a uh, egret prowling about a little while ago. So this is all very pleasant. Of course, the wind has largely died, <laughs> so uh, in the end, I guess there was no need to uh, to find this location. And it is uh, it is fly infested, unfortunately, but might have been just as bad at Napa Tree. Don't know. Um, so that's where we are for tonight. So for dinner tonight, we've got uh, backpacking dehydrated beef stroganoff. Got a little too much liquid in there fine. <clears throat> and uh, we've got a salad with ingredients from our garden. We still have some carrots and uh, cucumbers. We're done harvesting cucumbers, but there's still some left. And a little bit of wine. about quarter of nine and we have uh, light breezes out of the northeast this morning and we're kind of ghosting our way across and eventually out of little Narragansett Bay. Not sure if we'll be able to sail the entire way or not. Uh, I'm afraid I have some bad news. Um, the weather forecast has turned and so there's Small craft advisory uh, for tomorrow, uh, and uh, and still strong winds for Friday. Um, so discretion being the better part of valor, as they say. I'm going to cut the trip short and head back to Pine Island Marina today. So we'll just reverse course from yesterday, pretty much. So not very exciting. <laughs> 